Hi, I'm Dr. Roger Levin, and I'm very excited to talk to you about the role of the new orthodontic treatment coordinator. Before I go into what it means to be new, I want to tell you how delighted we are that you're now part of our virtual study club, and we look forward to providing ongoing education, innovative information. We're going to be adding to the study club regularly, and this is for you. When we looked at the entire situation, we couldn't find a place where treatment coordinators could go to learn, to study, to enjoy new aspects of being a TC, and this is your place. So thank you for joining us. We're very appreciative of having you. If you have ideas and suggestions, please email us and let us know what you would, what you would like to know. That'd be really great. Let's talk about the title, the new orthodontic treatment coordinator, and from now on, of course, I'll refer to you as the TC. TCs have been in orthodontics for a long time. They play a pivotal and incredible role in the practice. Peter Drucker, who is recognized as the management guru of the last century, in fact, many people refer to him as the father of modern business management, Peter Drucker had an interesting saying. He said that nothing happens in a business until a sale is made. Well, the same is true in an orthodontic practice. If you really think about the game of orthodontics and building a practice, it's quite simple. Do your marketing, attract referrals, close those referrals, perform the ortho, say goodbye, and keep that cycle going. I love simple businesses. Now, I'm not saying that running an ortho practice is simple. In fact, I think running the entire practice has a lot of complexity. And in our consulting programs at Levine Group, we're constantly working on reducing that complexity so we can increase production. But for our purposes with the TC, your role is the sale. And as I've been explaining to people, the definition of the new orthodontic treatment coordinator is a salesperson who has the ability to close cases with a new type of consumer. The challenges that you face are bigger than ever before. Let's see if I'm on track. Number one, there are more shoppers. Many mothers are making two or three or even four appointments before they walk in the door. Number two, Mothers are checking you out before they ever come in. They're using the internet, they're talking to friends, they're talking to their general dentist. Number three, when people come in, they're not automatically buying. I had a saying before the last recession that the great thing about orthodontics was parents weren't saying, is my child going to have ortho? They were saying, where is my child going to have ortho? And that made the game easier because somebody was going to have this parent and child commit to treatment. The question is, would it be you? Number four, more parents are delaying treatment. We're hearing more parents saying, well, yep, we're going to do this, but we're going to wait about six months. Well, unfortunately, that turns into its own quagmire where they don't get back. And because most ortho practices have very limited or poor follow-up, which is now part of the role of the new orthodontic treatment coordinator, we run into a scenario where those patients are lost as well. I think we're going to see a lot of kids become adults during, that were kids during the recession years, that become adults that did not have orthodontics, and maybe they'll be adult patients, but we may or may not be around when that happens. So, for our purposes today, we have to understand the role of the new orthodontic treatment coordinator. New does not mean that you are not qualified to do this job. It means that things have changed. And if you don't change as the socioeconomics and the consumers and the purchasing habits change, then your results just won't be as good. We have a target at Levine Group, and this is a target you should aspire to. It's a target we want to help teach you how to achieve, which is we want 90% of all the potential new patients to accept treatment in your office after one appointment. Now, the after one appointment doesn't mean we don't have to follow up, confirm, include mothers and fathers. There are other parts of this picture which you'll learn about by working through your study club materials on this website. That's why it's called a virtual study club. But having said that, let me repeat the target again. Your goal or objective is to close 90% of all the cases that come into the office in one appointment, including follow-up. Now, that changes the paradigm. A paradigm refers to a belief, and there's many TCs right now that are still operating the way they did prior to the most recent of the recessions. And this recent recession, and here's where you get some new education, has changed the way consumers think. There were two massive studies done 
on consumer purchasing psychology, or in your case, how parents buy orthodontics. Because what you need to realize is that even though an orthodontist is a doctor, I am a general dentist, I'm a doctor as well, so I kind of get you know, a practice. I ran a practice for 10 years, so I've, I've lived your life, I've lived your doctor's life pretty closely. And to that end, sometimes we think that we're what I call a carve-out. That because we are a medical practice, an orthodontic practice, parents will not behave the way they behave at Walmart or Costco or Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom or in a fine restaurant or in a jewelry store. They see us differently, we think. They view us with more respect, we think. They make decisions to buy our orthodontics differently than the way they make a decision to buy a flat screen TV at Costco. Well, that was true until that recession changed everything. And now the consumer purchasing habits have shifted. And as a person that sells a service, you need to know about this. And you need to become the new orthodontic treatment coordinator. So what it boils down to is that first of all, the consumers are treating orthodontic practices in the same way they treat the retail world. They're looking for information, they're looking for value, they're looking for deals, they're looking for payment plans. They're trying to decide where to spend their money because they don't have enough money to spend in too many places. The other factor that's changed is that people who have more money, one of the studies focused on consumers with incomes over $200,000 a year. That's a lot of money. And yet those consumers are now behaving the exact same way as people with much lower incomes. So you may be thinking, well, hey, if I had $200,000 a year as my income as a treatment coordinator, I wouldn't worry about what I'd buy. I'd buy what I want, I'd buy it where I want, and I'd get it when I want it. Well, y because we have not experienced uh, what some of these higher income people have, we don't understand that they are now behaving as if they had lower incomes. They have the money, but they are concerned, they're more frugal, they're asking more questions, they're, they want more value. They want proof that they should go ahead and make a commitment to your orthodontic practice. The third item is also interesting, is that people are taking longer to make buying decisions. So when I say close in one appointment, I'm including follow-up cycles of one week to six months. Does your practice have a rigid, systemized, regimented method to, to have follow-up? Without that, businesses today are in trouble because many people will not make a buying decision at what was always called the point of contact. And if we leave it to them to get back to us, they hear from other mothers about other offices, they hear about better fees than maybe what your office is, even though they don't really understand what's included or records included or not included, you, you know the whole thing. And the reality is these parents are making purchasing decisions differently. Now I would love to be a treatment coordinator. Why? because I understand the goal. I love a situation where I know the goal. The goal is to get them in and get them closed. We're teaching some amazing new things. For example, every new patient must be seen in seven days or less. If you are in an area with one of our clients and they go to the client office first, there's a 90% chance you will never meet that patient. How do I know that? Because part, a part of our company is called the Levin Group Data Center. We have tracked huge amounts of data. We are one of the largest data collectors in the profession. We share data with a number of national organizations, and we know that not our clients are closing 90% of the new patients who come in that are closable. That doesn't include observation patients, which is a webinar for another day. So understand that these parents are coming in. We need to get them in quickly. And then we are teaching the new orthodontic treatment coordinator method, which is a 60-minute, minute-by-minute, script-by-script appointment. We are not in the old days, which were only a few years ago. Doing what we did a few years ago, we're going to get less results, poorer results. Why? Because the consumer has changed. And if we don't tie into the psychology, and if we don't tie into the concerns and paranoia of the consumer, we can't win this game. There's a reason that people are using Groupon, which, by the way, does not work particularly well for most orthodontic offices. There's a reason that people use coupons. There's a reason that people price shop. There's a reason that people don't accept treatment that they need for their children or themselves. The adult orthodontic market 
is a huge market, and yet it's a very different type of sale than dealing with a parent and child. So as the new orthodontic treatment coordinator, you have to master new techniques. For example, I mentioned that the 60-minute appointment is a minute-by-minute, script-by-script appointment. But what type of script? We have thrown out all of our orthodontic scripts. We have redone completely our entire orthodontic consulting programs, the management and the marketing. Why? Because right now, our orthodontic clients have a singular goal, increase production, increase profit. But we focus on increasing production. That's our brand, increasing practice production through proven business systems. And part of our brand new consulting programs, which front load the biggest production drivers first, is creating a new concept called value creation scripting. I was taking courses at a top business school where I was met a professor who is a PhD in the science of influence. And this was fascinating to me. The topic was absolutely brilliant. Now this PhD doesn't do dental and he doesn't do scripting, but we took his key principles and we rolled them into a new approach to scripting that is all based in value. And this value is so important because parents are coming in now and they're testing for it. In the consulting world, we call it pressure testing. You know, can, you know it, when we really test it, can the, it hold up to the pressure? And that's the same thing for you. When parents really test you, can you hold up to the value? And it's not going to be just because you're a nice person anymore. It's not going to be because you're conveniently located. And it's not even going to be because they have friends who come to you. Parents are looking for value, they're looking for results, and they're looking for fee pricing. Now, I don't want you to lower your fees unless you're off the charts, but there are a lot of ways to look at fees. For example, the consumer today is concerned about barrier of entry. How much is it going to cost me to get started? Barrier of entry. Some practices like to have a high down payment and they're getting hurt for it. As I now, the, the expression I use in the many orthodontic seminars that I teach each year is that if you violate what the market will accept, the market will punish you. In this case, it means if parents aren't comfortable, they will go somewhere else. So will the adult patients. So in other words, we get punished. We don't do as well. Uh, there's a method out there of credit checks where you're supposed to check the credit of patients and the worse the credit, the more you charge them. That was a very nice approach in the 1980s when people had good credit. Now we're a country of people with lots of bad credit. And when you charge people with bad credit more to get started, you lose them. And by the way, they do end up in other offices. They do accept treatment and they do pay their bills. But that method, we've seen a number of clients lately that are way down in production because they're still not understanding the consumer. If the consumer's in debt, how do we help them with a down payment, with payment plans over time? You need patient financing, for example. Now, many orthodontists and TCs say, oh, we don't need that. We give in-house financing. Got it. Understand it. But do you know how many people today can't afford your down payment or your monthly payment? So think about that. If you lose 50 patients a year because they can't afford your basic down payment or your basic monthly payment, what does that mean to your practice? And by the way, if you understand the Levine Group target that we want 40 to 60 percent of your patients referring at least one other patient each year, which we achieve in our marketing consulting program, then every patient that doesn't start with you is a potential loss of one half to one full referral and then you lose that referral and so on and you go from building outward more and more referrals to contracting inward and then production's down, your brand is lessened in the community and you've got to fight to make your way back and hopefully no new competition comes along while the practice is trying to improve. So with that, it's really important to understand that you have great opportunities as a TC. You are the starting point of the practice. Once that patient calls, and it's marketing that gets them to call, it's up to you. And what we try to do is sequester you as a TC uh, in, in, in what we call the new orthodontic treatment coordinator. It's all about new. This whole study club is about new. And what we've done is studied the business world, met with sales training organizations to understand how to help you in the best way. So it's not just that the country's having a slower economy. Dentistry has changed. Orthodontics has changed. 
There, are, there is more competition than ever before. You have national chains providing ortho. You've got GPs working with aligners. You've got a lot of changes out there, and in order to compete effectively, and every business has to compete, so that's not a bad word, we need the new orthodontic treatment coordinator to be as sharp as ever before. New is the key word. In the business world, with the word is innovation. What have you done differently, innovatively, to really uh, take yourselves forward, to achieve your goals, to increase your production? In the TC world, it's about new. What is your new method? What are your new scripts? What new approaches do we take? What follow-up do we have? How often do we need to talk to a patient who hasn't accepted treatment yet and keep in touch with them? And I'll give you a wonderful example. I was recently doing research for a new puppy. And I indeed ended up buying the same kind of puppy that my wife and I have always had, bearded collies, which look like small English sheepdogs. Why am I telling you this? Because along the way, we saw a dog called a cockapoo. Very cute, very adorable, very nice. And I called one of the breeders I found on the internet just to get some information. Well, I have never seen marketing like this in my life. The breeder didn't respond, the dog responded, pulling right on my heartstrings. Tyler responds, he's looking for his permanent home, we can name him anything we like. Beautiful writing, right from the dog, playing on my sympathies. And then we decided to go with the breed we'd always had, but I'm still, two months later, getting information, emails, updates, and even offers to help me find another type of dog from this breeder that has done a brilliant job in marketing. Follow up, they're about the best I've ever seen. They're better than most of us. And we, it really struck home to me where we can take our follow up that we don't even really have today and make it systemized, regimented, even not quite, but almost automated with emails, letters, and scripting to make an incredible difference in your results. Remember, the new orthodontic treatment coordinator is a totally new skill set. You will be closing 90% of the patients who come into your practice within one visit or within six months or less of that time frame. Naturally, we want to close most of them in one visit or a couple of weeks. That's the norm. But some people will need three or four months to work it out, but they're not going to end up with you if no one else has ever communicated with them, contacted them, built value or offered to help them. So I hope this is insightful. It's about you. This whole study club is about you, a place you can go with regular new information, regular updates. I meet a lot of TCs. Most of them today are not qualified to be the new orthodontic treatment coordinator, but they can learn it very, very quickly, and so can you. Thank you for spending this time with me. I wish you continued luck and success. Enjoy your study club. We're delighted to have you.